what I've done is flip my block around. I've got this nice area over here and I'd cut this diamond out before. Again, it's one and a half by two and a quarter. And what I want to do is sort of just center it in this open space that I've got here on my, my blocks. So what I need to do is just measure. I've got five inches that way, so I'm going to go two and a half. And I've got, oh, about three inches this way, so I'm going to put a mark at one and a half. Square that line up this way. Now, I told you I cheated a little bit, and I did use a hand plane to get my diamond dimensioned after I band sawed it out. So now what I've got is I've got my axes on my diamond and I now have an X and Y axis on my block. And the first thing I want to do is put an X into those corners. And that way, if my diamond is at all different, um, you know, or out of symmetry, um, I get it back into the same orientation. And again, the bottom side of my diamond is smaller than the top side because I've undercut those edges um, three or four degrees. The one thing I do want to do, sharpen up my pencil. If you want to use a marking knife for this, knock yourself out. All right, line up my axes so that everything is in line. Good amount of pressure down and scribe that right off and set that aside. Now, on both of our, our mortise and our hinge gain before, what we did was um, we chopped perfectly square. So what I want to show you now is we want to undercut just a little bit. So here's another skill you're going to need to practice is just tilting that thing about three or four degrees beyond 90 so that we're actually undercutting this just a little bit. And that means you need to step away from the line a little more because you're really ex accentuating that bevel on the chisel and it drives it straight back to that pencil line. All right, so we're working our way around here. Just take some light Chop cuts, undercutting the whole time. Right back up to that line. That one I'm gonna have to trim back a little. And again, I'm gonna work across the grain. My diamond is about a quarter of an inch deep. So I want to go somewhere between an eighth and three sixteenths on this inlay. See, now I didn't take those relief cuts like I did on the hinge chain, and I've got lots of variation in my depth. So I'm going to need to go back and flatten this out a little bit. The other thing you want to be careful of is that the sidewalls of your chisels don't dig in when you start paring into this corner, you don't start buggering up that outside edge. So you're going to have to learn how to twist and maneuver your chisel to get into those corners without binding on the sidewall. And again, I'm, I'm still undercutting just a little bit. So now I'm going to take a couple of quick relief cuts, obviously in the areas that I'm thicker or higher, I'm going to take a slightly deeper chop and then I'm going to go back in there and you can see I'm working bevel down and I'm using my right hand to pivot back and forth. My left hand is the brakes holding this thing back from just completely gouging the entire surface of my block.
Another way to get into those corners without buggering them up is to use a thinner chisel. And you can see I've shifted, my left hand is now the power hand and my right hand is now the brakes. I'm almost there. A little shallow on the side towards you. This side looking pretty good. I think I'm about as far down as I'm going to be able to go. Take my diamond and line it up there. Looks perfect. If this was going to be on a real piece, I would put a little glue around the perimeter, not in the middle, because that way I would get that hydraulic effect going on and it wouldn't go down, trust me. But since this is just a practice block, I'm going to just line it up, take my mallet, drive it right in there. It's good and solid. And now take my wide chisel and I'm going to work sort of across the grain there. And I'm going to do that slicing cut to try and maintain control and slice that off and try and pare it down pretty much flush with my poplar block. Normally I would just take a hand plane and do this, but I told you it was a chisel exercise, so that's what we're gonna do. All right. Not too bad, nice and tight all the way around. I've got a diamond. Let's sort of pop our block loose there. You can see we've provided you with a whole bunch of really great little exercises in one tiny little block to uh, improve your chisel skills. So go back in there, give it a shot. If you get this far and you've messed something up, throw it away, make a new one, flip it over, do the other side. Um, I'll make a bigger mortise if you've screwed up the side walls or the bottom. The idea is practice, practice, practice. And this is a really great um, little block to uh, mess around with. Thanks, Werner. Um, it was a great learning this as a kid. I didn't make my first one perfect, and I'm pretty sure you won't either. That's why it's made for practice. <laughs>